and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K26? The show where we take a variety of blasters and see if it can be upgraded using a K26 spring. And if not, what can it be upgraded with? I am your host, Captain Xavier, and if you hear explosions in the background, that is because it's the 4th of July and I'm currently filming in the middle of a, uh, a war zone. Uh, it is fantastic. Today we're going to be looking at some blasters that were recently sent to me during fan mail and that I thought, thought were somewhat fitting, given... The explosions and all. We're going to be looking at the dragon blasters that I was sent from the uh, DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon. I have a hook fang and a toothless. Uh, we're going to look at the hook fang first because it actually came with the little darts, which are supposed to look like, I guess, fireballs? Anyway, it looks like they take standard nerf darts. Uh, it is not, as far as I can tell, made by Hasbro uh, or anything like that, but uh, most companies make their darts interchangeable for the obvious reason. And I don't know if I get to keep this one or not. Whoever sent it to me will hopefully watch this episode and uh, let me know. I know the other one has to go back, but this one came with the darts. The other one, they took the darts, so who knows? Anyway, let's get this thing open and see if it can be taken apart and to see if it can take a K26. All right, first of all, how does thing work? Well, that's how you prime it. And there's the trigger. All right, fairly straightforward. Seems thoroughly anemic. Let's see what it can fire. Here we have a variety. We've got an old school whistler. An AccuFake. Mmm, didn't like that at all. Kush fired well enough. And finally, we have some sort of waffle dip. Didn't like that one either. Interesting. Seems slightly picky. Or I'm using bad darts. Who knows? Anyway, let's see how well this thing comes apart. I'm going to bet large sums of money that it doesn't come apart well at all. And that it is, in fact, all, yeah, glued together. But let's see what happens when we take out the screws. Alright, well, I'm able to get it a little bit open, but the top ridge is very thoroughly glued in place, uh, and most of the upper part of the head is completely glued together. Uh, so you really cannot get this thing open far enough to, to get the internals out without uh, completely breaking it which I don't want to do. Also, the plunger tube is clearly tiny. There's enough room for them to have a much larger one, but there's no reason for them to have. And so if you look in there, you can tell the, the plunger tube is tiny and appears to be glued together. So this is going to be a real short holiday episode of Can It Take a K-26? All right, well, that is a no because it doesn't come apart and because the plunger tube is tiny, which is tragic because I was really hoping to be able to upgrade it at least a little bit. It doesn't shoot terrible, but it's it's never going to shoot great with that small of a plunger tube. Um, maybe if you didn't fee if you weren't concerned about cutting it open, you could get in there and maybe put a larger plunger tube in, you know, with enough epoxy, anything's possible. But I didn't want to risk ruining it because it's so nifty. Um, I, if it is mine to keep, then I will almost certainly try running it in a war just to be silly or I'll, I'll let Brett run it in a war. Who knows? Anyway, the hook fang is a no. On to the next contestant. Our next contestant is Toothless. Now this one I know I do have to give back. They kept the, uh, darts, uh, because, uh, I assume, unless it didn't come with any. They were taken out, stolen, who knows? Anyway, no darts. Uh, this one does not appear to have the same type of glued-in-place top ridge. A little bit maybe here with the ears, but um, I'm hoping maybe this one I'll actually be able to get into. So I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I doubt it'll take the K26, but it might. Yeah, I'm interested. This one comes with dart holders. 
The other one did not. So that's nifty. Oh. So it primes the same way. You pull the tail and then put it back in. But this one, you fire it using the, f the, f the front paws. The front arms. So that's kind of neat. Alright, let's see if this thing can be opened up any better. Alright, well unfortunately, no, the ears are in fact glued in, as is the head. It's all glued together. Uh, and again, I don't feel like destroying it, trying to take it apart, which is a real shame. It also has a similarly small plunger tube. So at best, I might have been able to do a spring upgrade. I am going to need to uh, find or replace that catch spring, though. Alright, well, it still works, uh, but I wasn't able to get a K26 on it. So, that's a no. Let's recap. Alright, for those of you just tuning in or who just skipped to the end to see the results, that was a no for the hook fang, and that was a no for the toothless. In both cases, it's because the shell is uh, thoroughly glued together, and I did not feel like destroying the toys trying to get them open. The plunger tube also definitely appears to be too small, but if you could get them open or were willing to cut them or boil them or whatever it would take to get them apart, uh, you might be able to do a spring upgrade, but who knows? Uh, I think they're much more fun just for the silly gimmick than for any attempt to actually make them, you know, practical. Uh, anyway, that was fun. This one I know is going back. This one, I'm not sure if it's going back. If it's not, I will definitely run it in a war or uh, give it to Brett to run in a war one way or the other. This one I know will be getting sent back, so I need to figure out who sent me these so that I can send them back. I'm sure I could just, you know, rewatch the video that they came in. Anyway... There you have it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Um, yes, I do have video from Afterworlds that will be getting uploaded soon. Yes, I have video from West vs. Zombies that will be getting uploaded soon. I have reviews I need to do. I have uh, all sorts of videos that I still need to get done, but uh, most of this month was spent prepping for Afterworlds and West vs. Zombies. So now that those are done, I will hopefully be able to get organized and get caught up on all of that. Um... The next episode of Can I Take a K26 should be considerably more interesting than this one, hopefully. We'll see. Um, well, there you have it. Do you have any ones that you really want me to take a look at? Go ahead and recommend them down in the comment section, and I will try to get a hold of them. And as always, thank you guys for watching.